Hey everybody, in this video, I'm showing you how to transfer your physical Verizon SIM card to eSIM on your brand new iPhone 14 Pro. I'll also cover how to transfer eSIM to eSIM. The guide I'm gonna show you should work for both methods. Now, the first thing you wanna do is set up your new device and likely restore it from your previous device. So put both of your iPhones next to each other, make sure your current phone is unlocked. You should get this pop-up and tap continue. Your old phone is gonna to connect to your new phone. And once that's done here, we should see a little dot pattern. Go ahead and scan that. And this is gonna wirelessly connect your two phones. And once that's done, you have two options. You can either set up your new iPhone for yourself or you can create a new child account. I'm gonna choose to set up for me. All you're gonna wanna do is enter your old passcode on your previous device. Your new phone will automatically connect to the same Wi-Fi network as your previous phone, which is awesome. And it may take a few minutes to activate. It's just communicating with Apple servers to make sure it's a legit iPhone and everything is good to go. Next, you can set up eSIM. There are two options here. You can transfer from another iPhone or you can set up later in settings. I'll show you how to do both of these options. First, I think the easiest method is to transfer from another iPhone. So go ahead and tap transfer number. This is gonna ask you to confirm the transfer on your previous iPhone. All you're gonna do is double click to confirm and it should be good to go. You can now see the phone is activating towards the bottom here and it may take a couple of minutes. You can now see your phone is connecting to the network and you should see some cellular service indicators at the top indicating your signal strength. And when it's complete, you'll get a notice, cellular setup complete. Your phone number is now active on this iPhone. When you're done, tap continue. And now you can continue with the rest of your setup process. The second method for transferring eSIM is between two iPhones that have already been set up. To do this, go to the iPhone that you want to transfer your number to and go to settings, cellular, and tap add eSIM. This is gonna be a very familiar process. You'll get a pop-up of the available numbers. In this case, the top one is my Verizon number. And all you're gonna do is tap continue, tap transfer number, and then your previous phone will prompt you to confirm the transfer. Tap transfer eSIM. And on Verizon, you have to double click the power button to confirm. So there it is, double click that power button, and there you go. It'll confirm the transfer, and you can see on the phone you're transferring to, it now says activating at the bottom. And there you go. When the transfer is complete, you'll see cellular setup complete. Your Verizon phone number is now active on this iPhone. Tap done, and you should be good to go. Finally, the third method for transferring your phone number from one iPhone to another is to use the My Verizon application. For this method, all you're gonna do is download and install the My Verizon application and go ahead and sign into your account. Then on the account tab at the bottom, wait for that to load up and go ahead and scroll down to devices and find the device that you want to transfer. So that's gonna be this one for me. On the next page, go ahead and scroll down until you see activate or switch device. Go ahead and tap on that. And then here, tap activate an existing line. Go ahead and select the line you wanna activate and then scroll down and tap next. Now for step one, Verizon is asking for device information, it says, are you activating a device that was previously used on your account? And you want to select no here. Even if the new phone you're activating has previously been used on your Verizon account, you want to select the no option. And the reason you wanna do this is in the next step, you'll be given the option to enter your device ID, your IMEI. And what you wanna do is go over to your new device, go to settings, scroll down, go to general, go to about, and go to SIM2 available SIM IMEI2, you're gonna copy this IMEI and paste it in. And this will make sure you're activating your new phone on eSIM. Again, it's gonna be the IMEI2. Make sure you're using that one. Even if you have a SIM card that's already active, you're gonna still grab the IMEI2, paste it in there. And once that's done, Go ahead and tap check device, make sure it's compatible. And now you're gonna verify your Verizon account. So select what phone number you want to send the authentication code to. Your phone number actually won't show up here, so just pick another line on the account and make sure you have that phone available and then tap text me the code. When you get the code, go ahead and paste it in there and then tap confirm. Verizon is giving us a little notice saying we're switching to a 5G phone, which is great. Once you set up your new 5G device, we'll provide the link 
where you can review your plan options to get the most out of 5G. Okay, tap continue, boom. Step two is to add equipment protection. You can see Verizon has now recognized the iPhone 14 we are activating, which is awesome. Of course, I highly recommend you decline device protection from Verizon. Instead, consider Apple Care Plus from Apple directly. I think it's a way better experience. So I've declined protection and tap confirm. And now Verizon is giving us a pop-up for content transfer, uh, for syncing your contacts and stuff. We've already done this because I've restored from an iCloud backup and this phone is good to go. So we don't need to do any of that. I think all we need to do is tap X and then you can review the summary. All that's happening is we're switching from an iPhone 13 Pro to an iPhone 14 Pro. You can scroll down, you can see the cost is gonna be $0, which is perfect. And when you're ready, tap confirm changes. Next, Verizon gives you the instructions for installing your eSIM plan. You should see a little banner in your settings saying a Verizon plan is ready to be installed. I had that and for whatever reason it went away, no worries. If you don't see it, I'll show you exactly what to do. If you do see the little banner, go ahead and tap install plan and tap to continue and you should be all set. Next, if you don't see the banner, which is what happened to me, all you're gonna do is go into cellular, tap set up cellular. And once this pulls up, boom, you should be able to see a Verizon plan right up top, which is what I see. If you don't see that, Verizon walks you through some other options and there's even a QR code on the support page that you can scan to install it. In my case, I do see the little Verizon eSIM, so I'm just gonna tap it and select continue. And there you go, cellular setup complete. Your phone number is now ready to use on this iPhone or whatever iPhone uh, you choose to set it up on. So that's how you transfer your Verizon physical SIM to eSIM using both the Apple quick transfer method as well as using the My Verizon application. And I will say using the My Verizon app method that I just showed you will work on any device, or at least it should work for any device that is eSIM compatible, whether you're going from iPhone to Android, Android to iPhone, Android to Android, iPhone to iPhone, whatever. Uh, one thing I do want to mention is once you have your eSIM transferred, if you need to transfer it back or swap devices, you can again use the My Verizon method. Or if you are going from iPhone to iPhone, you can go to settings, cellular, add eSIM, and you should see the option here. Boom. There's the phone number and you can go ahead and transfer it back. This is the quick transfer method and it looks like Verizon is fully supporting it now. So once it's all set up, you should be able to swap that phone number back and forth pretty easily. There you go. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button. It really does help support the channel and make sure you subscribe to save money on your cell phone bill. I'm Stetson. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.